All right, this lesson's on the types of cuts and handsaw safety. So cross cutting um, is cutting across the grain of a board. You can see how the grain goes down the length of the board and a cross cut goes across it. That's why it's called a cross cut. All right, most cross cuts are a 90 degree angle. Miter saws are exclusively used for uh, multi, um, you know, faceted cross cuts. So you'll see that miter saws, they're cross cut. Rip cut is when you rip a board with the grain. All right, so the grain, you can see it's all going this way and the uh, saw blade is going with the grain and making a rip cut. The pad that the blade makes is called the kerf. Now, um, you have to factor that in when you're cutting anything because you can see that the, that the uh, wood is disappeared at the cut. So you have to factor that in. So if you're making something that was two inches and you cut right on your line, some of your, it's gonna end up too short because some of uh, what you thought you were gonna have is gone, made in the sawdust from the path of the blade. So you gotta keep that in mind. So the sawdust actually comes from the path of the blade, all right, which is called kerf. All right, then you have your miter cuts. So right across the board at a 90 degree angle, all right, cross cut, which most people think of when you're cross cutting. All right, that's a 90 degree miter technically. Half of 90 is a 45, the second most common cut. All right, 45s are used for around doors, um, pretty much anything. All right, because it's half a 90 and that creates that right angle. All right, and then you can pretty much go with anything in between. But cross cut, uh, miter cut is a cross cut, all right, at an angle. Like picture frames are miter cuts and all this, all right? So just like 245s equal to 90, those are all miter cuts. All right, there's these things called miter boxes that you can use a handsaw and you can cut them or you can use a miter saw and all you gotta do is swing the table and it, ch and it changes the miter. All right, these are, that's a, these are both uh, examples of not really great cut miters where it's uh, open on one end and close on the other, whether it's at the end or on the inside. A bevel cut is when you're cross cutting, but the blade is tilted, all right? So you're actually making an angle, but more on the edge of the board, all right? So the miter cuts on the flat, the bevel is on the uh, edge. All right, so you tilt the miter saw or you tilt your saw to make that cut. So here you got a straight cut, you got a miter cut that's cut at an angle on the flat and you got a bevel cut that's angled on the edge. And then you have a compound miter, which is both a bevel and a miter cut. So you have a miter angle here and then you have a bevel angle here. All right, that's why crown moldings said to be so difficult to cut because you have to do both at one time. So there's a compound cut, bevel cut, and miter cut. And that's just your regular cross cut. So you have your miter, which is on the flat, on a bevel cuts on the edge, and then that kind of a combination of both here. There's another representation. All right, so the handsaw can make all of these cuts. When you're using a handsaw, make sure you wear safety glasses. Um, check that the saw and the handle is in good condition. A lot of times these handles get a little loose, all right? There's really no way to check the sharpness of the blade. Just look at the teeth, make sure they're not all chewed up or anything like that. Don't check the sharpness by running across your finger. That's not good. Um, the teeth should be very sharp. A sharp saw will cut a lot better. All right, that's what you want. Um, Make sure the saw is only cutting wood because these wood, uh, these saws that are meant for cutting wood, if they hit a nail, it's gonna just tear up those teeth. Um, they have very aggressive teeth for cutting wood, not metal. Um, the wood that you should be cutting should be clamped down 
because with a handsaw you're doing a really tough like uh, push push and pull so you don't want your workpiece to be moving all over the place uh, start your cut to the left of the line all right because uh, you don't want to be uh, creating a curve making it too short all right place the, the saw blade in the correct location and with a little pressure on the blade slowly start making a starting notch in the wood your left thumb should start and guide uh, your saw straight and then your right index finger should be pointing forward telling the saw where to go all right you make a few passes and then you start going dad all right just like this see how your thumbs guiding it and then um you can't really see on the other area this this the, the finger pointing exactly where you're going all right the sawing motion should be long and smooth all right it should not be short and erratic you want to use all the teeth of the saw blade and go back and forth you should be good the shoulder and elbow hand should be create like one fluid motion like a robot or something like that it shouldn't be all just hand or all just thrown your shoulder all right this is the type of cuts and how to use the hands off.